Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey there. This is going to be slightly different than what I normally do. I just, people struggle sometimes when they're on Zoom and how to share and how to do things. So I thought I would just record a video showing you how to do things with Zoom using the latest update. I'm recording this in June 2024 when my Zoom interface changed. So if you're struggling, here's some stuff. If you're bored and just watching videos, um, here's a video. <laughs> So this is me in my office and then a plush frog, one of my team members sent um, in my husband's office. And so I just propped him up on some LaCroix and I'm like, you're about to get taller and sit on camera with me. We'll pretend that the frog and I are having a Zoom call and I'm sharing something so the frog can see it and the frog can help. Let me start by showing you what it's like when I share. First, I want to share something. When I provide training calls to clients, I'll ask them to share their screen so that I can see what's going on. I'll then draw on their screen to demonstrate and talk about how to do things and fix things and so forth. When you're sharing your screen, you're going to click on the green share at the bottom of your screen. You're going to be presented with this, which is asking you, what do you want to share? Now, what you can see from my screen is that I have multiple things open. And so I can share a specific thing that I have open, or I can share the entire computer monitor, or I can share a particular application. What I'm gonna share is my sample QuickBooks. So this is what it looks like for me on my computer. I'm just gonna tell Zoom not to share my entire computer monitor, but rather only share this one tab. So let me just close and go back to Zoom. Okay, so I keep putting Zoom into full screen mode for this video. When I'm really on Zoom, I don't have it in full screen. I'm going to click on Share. I make my QuickBooks a yellow browser so that I can quickly find it at a glance. Yellow is probably my least favorite color, so it's perfect for this. I know what I want to share. I just have to scroll and find the yellow browser. I know that I don't use the yellow browser for anything other than QuickBooks. I'm going to click Share. So now what you see on my screen is that there's a green box around the yellow browser and the green box says, Hey, this is what you're sharing. It took it out of full screen. I'm going to find this to be distracting. So I'm going to put it into full screen for myself. Um, which really, okay. I was like, I don't know how to put it into full screen. Um, what I did do is just click my dot or, or click the corner to make it bigger. And that's the best I've got. So now I'm sharing my screen. I know that I'm sharing my screen because there is a green box around it. Also in the upper left hand corner, I have um, where I would have had the three dots that a Mac has. I have this thing that says like a picture of a person sharing. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. If I were to go over to the other computer, I would see both myself and the frog and I would see that, that this screen is being shared. Um, whether I'm sharing or the frog is sharing, if I want to draw on the screen, which I love to do, I just need to find this annotate and it's going to bring up this little bar that appears on the left hand side of my screen. I always have it on the pencil. I like using the color red because it sticks out and I can say like, oh, hey, I love what you're doing here or no, nope, don't worry about that or whatever it is I want to show someone. I clear all my drawings by clicking on the trash can. It just gets rid of them all at once. Sometimes when I'm working with people, they don't know that they've turned on annotate and to get rid of it, you just have to find the floating black bar and then find the little red X at the bottom and click on it so that it goes away. If this thing we're looking at is in the way, just click on it and drag it, move it somewhere else. If the picture of you and the frog are in the way, drag it somewhere else. If you're like, this is not helping me at all, drag it to your second screen. Like no problem, no harm, no foul. Just move it out, out of the way. If you're a person like me who finds yourself moving this like little icon of, of the people around, I'll often just adjust the people and put them someplace that's convenient for me. And then I'll grab my QuickBooks window and drag that down. So now I can see both things. 
if I can't do that, or if I'm really focused and I, I don't feel like I, it sounds awful to say, but if I don't feel like I need to make eye contact, I'm just going to drag this thing over to the right, put it on my second screen and just be completely focused on what I'm doing. Um, yes, I think that those are the highlights. Those are the things that people struggle with the most is, um, like, how do you move the things so they're out of the way? How do you share your screen? Um, how do you identify what screen to share? And what is like, how does the annotation happen? Um, so those are all those things. Um, I'm just going to go to the other computer. I'm going to share screen. There'll be nothing on it. But at least then I can demonstrate how to annotate when somebody else is sharing screen. All right. So now what you're seeing is that the frog is sharing their screen and I'm the person looking. So this is really what my view looks like when I work with people. Automatically, the people appear on the right hand side of my screen. I don't have to fight with moving them somewhere. I can change where they're at by clicking on view in the upper right hand corner. One of the things that I like about this is that I'm able to draw on the screen of the person who's sharing screen. And so um, this, uh, let me show you. Um, it used to be that there was a ribbon that would appear and I could click on annotate, but the ribbon doesn't appear anymore. Uh, up here at the very top of my screen in a way that almost blends in, it says demo frogs screen. And there's three little dots. When I click on the little dots, um, I can stop their sharing, which isn't what I want. I failed in this example. I didn't open uh, the app on the other computer, which means that I don't have a pencil. When somebody else is sharing their screen, the annotate pencil has been appearing in the lower left hand corner of my screen. I don't have one because that computer, I opened this on the Chrome browser, which you can see up here at the top of my screen. When somebody opens up Zoom on their Chrome browser, you can't draw on their screen. So small limitation. But I wanted you to see both sides. And then also just because I super love it, this got nothing to do with me. Um, Sarah Nielsen, a person who I've never met and never spoken to, does the coolest pep talk art. And so I just pulled it up here to include it in the video so you could see it. Um, her business is just frog it about it. Um, and you can kind of see what's up with her illustrations. They're just fun, heartwarming pep talks. I super love it. I hope this video has been helpful to just kind of show you a little bit about the navigation of Zoom and how I use it, and also introduce you to an illustrator that I think is fantastic and I hope you'll enjoy. Any questions, let me know down below. If there's anything that you want to see me demonstrate, so you have a better sense of uh, like how I work and what I'm doing, please don't hesitate to let me know. The purpose of this is twofold, show you how I work, but also help you kind of see some things that you can do within Zoom that maybe you just didn't know. Not the cool, funny backgrounds, but rather you can draw on someone's screen to help them understand stuff better. Okay, thanks.